And let's be for real, ooh, $600, that, that's a lot of money. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go ahead and film my Sephora wish list video, okay? I've never done this before because typically I want you guys to be surprised at what I pick up, but this year I just want to, you know, try different items, try different products that I've never looked into. So I actually need your help in terms of deciding what I should pick up. If you've tried them, let me know if you like it or I should stay away from them. So basically this video honestly is to help me out because a girl is struggling, okay? I have about $600 worth of makeup products in my cart and let's be for real. Six hundred dollars. That's, that's a lot of money. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna spend that much money. So I really do need help because the sale is tonight. So if you guys don't know, if you are VIP, it starts tonight. So. 12 a.m., I'll be there. But I do have 14 items in my car right now, so we'll see what I decide on um, later on. But if you're interested, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and let's jump right into the video. So right now, I'm going to Sephora.com, and I will go ahead and pop on the side my actual screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, but we're gonna go into my cart, okay? A girl has 14 items in here. Like, this is insane. I've never, ever, you know, spent over Honestly, $350, that's probably the max. So we'll see how this one goes, all right? I'm gonna go in random order. So the first one I do have is the Inky List Retinol Anti-Agent Serum, okay? So people have been talking about retinol and how it helps your skin, get rid of wrinkles, it just gives you beautiful, smooth, flawless skin, all right? So I have been doing my research and there's so many good ones that I do want to pick up. There's one from you to the people, but it's the price tag for me, okay? I know the sale is perfect for that, but at the same time, it's like $68. Like, I, I just, I don't know. So to ease my way into it and see if I even do like retinol and if I want to incorporate it into my skincare, I will go ahead and try the Inky List one. And it has a lot of great reviews, okay? I know it's only $10.99, but a lot of people were raving about it. So I was like, okay, all right, let me try it out, see if I like it, and if I do, I will go ahead and get the more expensive one, all right? So yes, if you've tried it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know as well. So now moving on to the next one, I do have the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Iconic Match Revolution Lip Trio Set. I feel like all her names are so long, I'd be out of breath every single time. But this one, you get three lipsticks for $32. Now I know it is mini, so I hope it's not like disrespectfully small. You know when you guys get minis, you're like, for real? Like, for real, is this small? But in the pictures, it looks like a good size. So we'll see once I go ahead and get it. But I have been always intrigued with Charlotte's lipsticks. I don't know why. I wanna be that person that has a staple lipstick in her collection and I don't have that. I just use whatever from whatever brand. So they have three shades in here. They have like a nudie one. Um, a little bit more of like a pinky, darker color, and then like a super nude one. So um, these are the shades I would typically wear when it comes to my lips. So it's something that I just saw last minute in the holiday section. I was like, let me go ahead and try it out and see. Um, but I don't know yet. I don't know, I'm still on the fence, all right? So moving on over, we're gonna move on to perfumes, and hey, y'all. You guys, when it comes to perfumes, I love woodsy, a um, little bit of sweet, but mostly like musky, woodsy, sweet scents, all right? Like if you guys have ever tried Replicas by The Fireplace, that one has my heart. Every time I smell that perfume, I get so happy. I don't know where it takes me, but it takes me somewhere, okay? I don't know, I just, I love it. So ever since that one, I am obsessed with scents like that. Even my candles, everything in my house is fireplace, marshmallow, sweet, woodsy, musky scents. So I was looking online and um, I saw the brand Commodity and I've never tried them before, but they just intrigued me because I love perfumes that are unique and different from what you see out there. Like I hate, you know, flowery scents, like things like that. Those are super basic to me, but I love scents that are like, very just different, you know what I mean? So this one, um, they have their Milk Expressive 
spray. Now I am going to go ahead and get the small ones just because I don't know if, you know, I'm going to like the set yet. I'm just doing this blindly. Um, but the bigger bottle is about $125, I want to say. That's a lot of money on a perfume. So I'd rather get the travel one and see if I like it. But this milk expressive, people are literally stating that it smells so good. It has a marshmallow set in there, a little bit woody. Um, people are saying if you love by the fireplace, you're going to love this one, but it's just a little bit more sweet and it's just very creamy. Like all these words, I'm like, okay. Like literally, I cannot control myself. So this one, I'm definitely pretty sure I'm gonna get. But then also they do have the Commodity Milk Bold Travel Spray. So their names are a little bit different. It took some time for me to understand what that meant. So um, essentially, Commodity Milk Expressive, that one, Expressive, is a little bit more sweet. Now the Milk Bold, this is like in your face, woodsy, a little bit of sweet from what I've been reading um, sent in there. So I was like, okay, cool. And a lot of the reviews on here were saying that it's warm and spicy, um, has some firewood keynotes in here, mahogany wood, tonka bean. I'm just like, this just sounds so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get both of those just to try it out. But they also do have a, let's see if they show it to you guys here. They do have a travel or like a mini um, collection for people who want to try a lot of different sets. So they have the exploration set right here, as you can see. They also have the discovery set, but none of those sets had like both the milk since I was looking for the expressive and bowls. So I just wanted to go ahead and get both the travel ones, but I don't know. I'm super excited about this one. Okay. If you have it, let me know if it's worth it. So next up on this list, like I told you guys, I am just jumping around based on the order. They have it in here. Um, the next one is the Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Whipped Clay Pore Detox Face Mask with salicylic acid and charcoal. So when this first came out, I was like, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like it was a little bit gimmicky, okay? I don't know what it was. I'm very picky about masks. Um, there's not a lot of masks that I love, honestly. I only have one in my collection, and that's sad. So um, this one right here, people were stating that it's one of the best face masks out there. I was like, really, Fenty? Okay, so people are saying they love this mask, they love the texture, it makes your pores look much cleaner and clearer, leaves your face smooth, gets rid of acne. I mean, five stars, five stars, five stars. Even when I was watching a lot of people's Sephora recommendations video, they kept raving about this. I was like, okay. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try it out, all right? So this one's a little bit different because you put it on your face and then you rub it into your face and the beads pop, um, essentially, or whatever it is. And then once it turns gray, that's how you know, like, you know, you mix everything in. So I really love this concept, I think it's cool. Um, part of me is like, should I get it? I, I don't know, because I just, I don't know. I feel like with masks, like, it just all depends. But from the reviews, it just seems like it's gonna be a good one. So next up that I'm thinking about getting is a Topicals Slather Exfoliating Body Serum with retinol and AHAs. Now this one I was not expecting at all to even think about to be honest with you because I've tried a bunch of um, Topicals products and they're good don't get me wrong but they're not like my favorite okay i'm not obsessed with it but my girl kyra monique okay um she had i think she got a sponsored video on instagram and the way she was slathering this all over her body and just the benefits and what she was talking about i was like Ooh, hold up because you guys don't remember what i said it is a body serum with retinol and ahas and basically the goal is to if they have it on here let me scroll up a little bit it doesn't say on here let me show more actually okay so um, basically this moisturizing body serum helps exfoliate your rough dry patches with retinol and ahas and it helps to 
um, get rid of the look of body texture, and it also conditions your skin, gets rid of roughness, bumps, clogged pores, and flakiness for a soft um, touch skin. And if you guys don't know, I have chicken skin underneath my arms. Like, it's a little bit bumpy. I don't know why, but a lot of people have that, and it's called KP, if I'm correct. Um, so this just tells me when I put this on my body, it's gonna look good. And I also looked it up a lot on YouTube and a lot of people were saying the same thing about it. Like they love it and they recommend it. So this one I'm like on the fence. I'm like, should I really, really get it? Like, I don't know. Cause like it's $30. I use a lot of lotion y'all and serums already. But with this, I just want to try it out because it does have like those AHAs in there. But we'll see. Now moving on to Miss Charlotte. Okay, Miss Charlotte Tilbury. I love everything about her products, you guys. I'm obsessed. I think they're so good. They're so worth it. Um, if you haven't tried it out, you're missing out. Okay. So we have the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Duo Set. All right, I told you guys the names are always long. I don't get it. But Nonetheless, I have the big one and I go through that all the time, but also I do travel a lot, you guys, and I notice that every time I travel, I have to go ahead and take some of my products and put them in smaller containers, and I hate doing that. Like, I want to see, like, the packaging and all of that, you know. I know it sounds so crazy, it's not important, but I hate that I use, like, a random spray bottle and then spray it all over my face, and I have to remind myself, like, all right, this is a Charlotte one, you know, it just takes away from experience. So I'm actually gonna get the mini um, airbrush flawless set duo. This is two for $29. You do get, let's see, I can't remember how much is in here in terms of ounces. Um, but I read it somewhere, I can't remember, but it has a good amount of ounces and it will last you a long time and you get two. So whenever I do travel, I don't have to go ahead and put it into another container. So if you guys don't know about the setting spray, I love it, I rave about it. It's my favorite setting spray out there because it locks in your makeup. So if you travel a lot like I do, I recommend the duo. I feel like it's gonna help me a lot, all right? Now we're gonna move on to La Mer. Oh my lord, y'all. This one? I don't even know, like, I, who am I? First, first of all, first of all, first of all, okay. It's a price tag for me, all right? $140. $140, okay. All right, now I thought I was crazy till I did my research. And back in the day when everybody talked about this foundation, right? It was not this price tag, y'all. It was a hundred, I wanna say $120, something around that, which is still a lot, okay? But the fact that over the years, they slowly crept, like, increased the price, I don't understand why, all right? Because the foundation itself, I know it probably has skincare, I know it's luxury, I get it, I get it, but there was no need for them to increase the price like this, all right? And for example, like Arnold Palmer, you guys heard about the iced tea, like he only sells it for a dollar and they said like, listen, you can move it up to $2, right? He's a billionaire, I believe. And he was like, no, I wanna keep it the same because he's already making, you know, enough money from a dollar, all right? 140, baby, I, something, I, it sounds a little fishy, but it's okay, all right? It's in my car, I don't have to buy it, I get it. It's in my car, I picked it up, so. All right, let's get that out of the way. But <laughs> the reason why I was looking at this was because I remember back in the day, you guys, like it's just so crazy when you're younger and you used to think about like, one day I can't wait to afford this and try it out. And it's just like me being this grown woman that I am right now, I just love the fact that like, I can look back on products that I've always wanted and I can afford it now, thank God. But you know, um, the reason why I was looking at this was because of all the great reviews. Um, it has SPF 20 in there. We love sunscreen, y'all. I love sunscreen. Um, and it just seems promising, okay? Now the shades, yes, they can add a lot more shades in here, but it did add a lot more than, you know, there was back in the day. And basically, in here it says it's a medium colored foundation gives you a natural finish for a normal dry combination oily skin and the best part is it's a silky lightweight formula that helps to maintain balance and provides beautiful coverage it leaves your skin um, visibly plumped with hydration 
fine lines and wrinkles look softened, the look of pores and imperfections are diminished, um, UV protection, you know, all of that. It just sounds so good. And it's just like, I'm going back and forth, you guys. I've put this in my car, I've removed it, I've put it back in there. I just don't know what to do. Like, I really, I don't know what's gonna happen, all right? So, we'll see with this one. And a lot of people were also recommending the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. I did look at that one, y'all, but the shade range was just not it for me. So I just, yeah. Um, but we'll see, y'all. It's just 140, like, I don't know. So moving over to St. Jane Beauty. This is your Luxury Sun Ritual Pore Smoothing Sunscreen with SPF 30, okay? So I tried the Black Girl Sunscreen like you guys told me before, and I don't like it. It's so greasy, and I have oily skin, all right? I want a sunscreen that I can incorporate into my routine, but doesn't make me oily, all right? So, um, this one just had a lot of great reviews. I've never tried anything from St. Jane Beauty. If you guys have, let me know. But basically, it's a luxuriously clean mineral SPF 30 with a sheer invisible texture that beautifully blurs the look of pores, a primer, moisturizer, and SPF in one. I didn't even read that till now. I just thought it was SPF, but it's a primer, moisturizer, and SPF. They might have sold me. All right. So basically, skincare concerns, pores, redness, and oiliness. So that's me right there. A girl is oily. Um, but basically, mineral sunscreen, if you guys don't know, those disappear into skin really nicely. They don't leave a white cast. Um, and like I told you guys, I want something that I can put in my routine that doesn't alter my foundation or anything like that. And this one just seems so promising. And the reviews, y'all literally they say it takes a few minutes to settle but feels nice under makeup and doesn't pill um a lot of people that didn't like it i realized they had like um um dry skin so i feel like this is more so for oily people but they just have a lot of reviews like five stars five stars five stars i was like okay okay y'all sold me all right so this one we may see but there's another item in here um in my card that i want to mention so i'm kind of in between those two so next up we have the gucci matte primer this is sixty dollars and you guys know gucci is in sephora now so in in the store they actually have the hydrating primer but they don't have the matte one and i really wanted to try this one out first to see if i like it because i'm very picky with matte primers i feel like i went through so many okay um there's a lot of good ones out there but i just i used to love the what was her name I can't even remember right now, but there was a, oh, the Kaden Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer. That was my favorite, y'all. I love that. But they completely um, went out of business, so I can't find that anymore. So the Gucci one, this one has a lot of great reviews, okay? A lot of five stars in here too as well. It's just given me you know, like, all right, this is gonna work. It's gonna mattify my face. I'm gonna like it. All of that good stuff so um, I'm kind of on the fence because there's another product in here that I'm thinking I may go with but I may just try this one out and see if it works because it's just a lot of great reviews but the only thing people were saying was like um, it may pill a little bit on the skin um, but nothing crazy besides that I mean everybody has something good to say and then also it is um, heavily fragranced as well so it has fragrance in there so if you are sensitive to that I probably wouldn't pick it up um, but we'll see with that one it just it sounds good so we'll see all right so next up I have the Danessa Myricks Beauty yummy skin blurring balm powder Okay, now you guys are probably wondering like why did I not review this? I was just confused. I'm like, it's a balm, but it's a powder. Like what's going on? I was so confused. Um, and then also the shades as well. I feel like, you know, my ideal shade isn't in here. And the fact that they don't have this in store makes it so much harder because like, I can't swatch it. I can't try it out. So I was like, you know what? Let me just skip out on this one. And I wasn't gonna pick this up at you know, in general, but I was watching too much mouth and 
um, she was talking about the universal shade and how if you have oily skin, this will keep you matte all day. I said, excuse me. I said, wait, what? How did I miss this? So I have the universal shade in my cart and the way she applied it on her skin, she did a weird test y'all and she came back at the end of the day and her skin looked like she had just applied her foundation. I was so shocked. So this seems really promising and that's why I'm kind of confused. Like, should I pick this one? Should I pick the Gucci one? I was so set on Gucci till I watch her video. So I was like, all right, I don't know anymore. You guys let me know down below because I'm just like on the fence, okay? I'm on the fence. Um, but, uh, I don't know, I may just get both because I'm stressed, all right? And return the one that, you know, I don't like the most. So we'll see with this one. Um, but next up on here, we have the Refi Gloss Highlighter. So you guys know I love cream highlighters. I love, um, balm highlighters i love anything like that i'm not really into powder highlighters anymore but this one just seems really good i was watching Aaliyah's face and y'all see me telling you i'm watching this person and that person yeah i get it easily influenced when it comes to makeup but this one she i think applied it when she went on vacation and it just looks so good on her skin like it looks like wet all right look at this look at the pictures y'all it looks wet it looks promising and it has a subtle um, golden undertone to it with a glass-like glow finish. It just sounds so good. The only thing is like the reviews, some people do like it, some don't. Um, I don't know what a lot of people are saying on here. It takes your makeup off. Basically how I apply highlighters like this is I put it on the back of my arm and then I go ahead and take my sponge and bounce it to blend it out a little bit and then I apply it on my face. I think a lot of people are probably just like applying this directly on. It's probably not how you should use it. So the review, some people love it, some people don't, all right? But I'm kind of set on this one and trying it out. Now, next up, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV Flawless Primer with SPF 50, okay? This is $55. Okay, Charlotte. Charlotte, it's a little expensive. All right, so this one, I actually never even knew existed. I've never seen it in stores. Um, with Charlotte Tilbury, she has her makeup section and then she has a skincare section in Sephora. So it was almost like two different sides you gotta go to from what I remember. So that's probably why I've never seen it. But um, I was watching Andre Renee, all right, on YouTube. I told you I'll be watching so many videos. That's how I get in this situation. Um, but she was talking about the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV Flawless Primer with SPF 50. And what got me is, number one, it's a primer, which I love, but it's also a sunscreen. But this has the highest amount of SPF I have seen when it comes to primers and things like that, or even just sunscreen for your face in general. A lot of them stop at SPF 30, but SPF 50, like, that's amazing. And I have a trip to Mexico for my birthday in January, so I feel like I need sunscreen um, really bad with SPF 50. So um, it's an invisible weightless scentless primer with broad spectrum SPF 50 and hyaluronic acid that prime supports and hydrates your skin, okay? Now, the St. Jane one that I mentioned, that has 1.7 ounces for about $38 when it comes to makeup. It's just so funny. When it comes to makeup, y'all, I know ounces, prices, like, it's just stuck in my head. Um, but the Charlotte one is $55 and you only get one fluent ounce. Like, yeah. All right? It's a little bit expensive, but... A lot of people were saying that it's absolutely worth it. Even Andrea, she was talking about like how it's one of her favorite, like she loves um, that primer. It just blends into the skin. It doesn't give you white cast. It primes your face, gives you a little bit of a glow, but nothing too crazy. Um, and a lot of people are in here saying that it's worth it. You know, like it's worth it. I'm bringing all the reviews in here with y'all. Makes your skin look like glass. Um, love it, bigger bottle, please. Yeah, great primer for the summer. It just has a lot of great reviews. Like, I don't think, 
I saw a single person say anything bad about this. So yeah, as you guys are seeing that, you know, there's just so many great reviews on here. So I'm on the fence between this one and the St. Jane one. They both are primers, they both are SPF, but the St. Jane one has only um, SPF 30 in there. So we'll see with what I decide. I don't know yet, um, but the reviews on this seems amazing so far, so. So last but not least, I do have the Merit Day Glow Dewy Highlighting Balm. Um, this one I'm actually gonna get in the shade Citrine Soft Gold. So when um, they first sent me a package, like I wanna say like a year ago, something like that, they sent me the shade um, Bounce, which is rose gold. And I fell in love with that highlighter, you guys. It makes your skin look like glass. It gives you that wet look. It blends right into your skin, melts like butter. It's honestly one of my favorites. Um, so now that they have Citrine, which they've always had, but I was looking into it, I'm like, Citrine has like that soft gold in there. I think I'm gonna love that one, honestly. So just looking at it zoomed in, it just looks really good right and i know bounce on here looks like it's silver and it looks scary i'm not gonna lie in the picture it looks a little scary but on my face y'all it looked beautiful so i know citrine is gonna be chef kiss um but the only thing is like i have to pick between this one or the refined one i'm not gonna get two highlighters that you know kind of do the same exact thing so i'm just on the fence with that you guys so we'll see but the formula y'all honestly obsessed with it um, one of my favorites out there. So let me go back. I think that's everything in my cart, y'all. Let's go back in here. So looking through everything, I believe those were all the items that I have in my cart. So yes, you guys, it's super exciting. I don't know what I'm gonna do when it comes down to the wire. I feel like it's almost like a, a basketball game. Like you got three seconds left, what are you gonna do? That's how I feel this before VIP sell because items sell out so fast so you have to make sure that you have your cart ready once it hits 12 at night you go ahead and press submit and buy it because i'm telling you it will sell out and it's funny i've done this for so many years once they sell out it's literally like the day after the sale ends everything comes back in stock i'm like y'all are playing with me stop playing with me okay and so like they have limited stock i swear for the sale so um we'll see i don't know we'll see what happens so when i go ahead and do my haul we can talk about this together but yes um make sure you guys go ahead let me know your thoughts down below um let me know which items i should really just go ahead and just grab um just let me know what you think so i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one